guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of our dating story. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. You so pretty. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. But you like her, don't you? I wish they would zoom in on the nails. Hey, oh my god, I love the blue. That's so I'm sorry, I'm a girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my god, damn. Maybe it's just because she hasn't found the right one. <laughs> God, tempt yourself, like relax, breath. Oh my god! Oh, she gives me the modding vibes that I love. I mean, because besides the fact that both of them are gatos, but just they're adorable, and that's why I love them both. The adults who have kids for like mom dad how did you meet well Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, we know that's a total lie. I can 
18. Oh my god. I, I did good. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, he, he's cute. I would date him if he was around my age. Mm -mm, lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> She could be right behind you. Oh, here she comes. You got this. Yeah, because you know, every girl wants to know that. Guys, I'm just saying. Right? Be happy. <laughs> so... But baby, it, it it's real. <laughs> <laughs> of course, didn't think it was gonna go the way they thought. <laughs> Dude, he's hella tall. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we call you Rue for short.
Oh. But you're cute though. Come on now. And I think because he's been rejected so many times, I think now he he feels like any girl who will confess to her. I mean to him. It's like a joke. I think most guys and girls do feel like that. Even nowadays. Men and women. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, you know, let's learn more about each other. Aww. So, of course, things that give you the ick. <laughs> We know until you try. Eventually, you really both will start liking each other. I mean, you end up falling in love with someone, but the more and more you hang out with them, right? So, yeah. I mean, girl, your longest is like, what, how long? Two, three months? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you're, that, see, there we go. Because I'm thinking like, oh, she cheat. Like, mm, you better watch yourself. But like, oh no, she's super faithful. And I love that. I mean, you know, it's like the casual dating thing. I mean, the thing is, like, when you are really serious with someone and you're like, I want you and only you, then yeah, it's the two of you. But when you are casually dating someone, you can date as many people as you want. But, you know, significant others do get a little jealous, hella jealous when you're talking to someone else, even though you're supposed to be with them. Cheating, that's a whole different conversation that we'll get into maybe in, like, another episode. <laughs> Wait, you don't want to come in? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Hold up. 14 minutes in and she already calling him a boyfriend? What? Girl. 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 Couldn't be me. <laughs> Wherever I move to next, I really just, I dream to have a vanity. But then I'm also the type of girl who wants love for anything. So, yeah, mm -hmm. as I always say, Marini is like literally me because I want love for every fucking thing. Not the panties. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Of course! Only when you are together and when you're starting to really date and you get married. Don't do it! Please don't! Oh my god. Literally the cutest top. Yeah, please don't, because you don't know what the hell you're going to find. On the floor? Bed? There you go. And, and I mean, you just started dating. Like, that quickly, babe? Yes, but not really on, like, day one, babe. Not the first freaking day. Right? Oh, he's so, oh, he's so precious. Oh, he's so cute. You are right about that, Runa, yes. But it, it's just, you know, waiting for the right moment. And this will be the first time she really has a guy who's really, truly faithful to her. And I feel like she, she's never had that with anyone else. She's only really had guys who have just, like, dumped her. Like, really had sex with her, dumped her, and then moved on to the next girl. It's factual. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. 
Nice voice. Gentlemen. But see, at the same time, gentlemen can be perfect, so, but you know, it, it's just, it just depends. Espresso, you know. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> so adorable. It's true, because, you know, most of us, when we want to do it just to make the guy happy. Watch me like either the final episode or when they get married. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's cute. Okay, so this definitely gives me, like, typical romance vibes, but then also, like, you know the, the show My First Girlfriend is a Gal? Of course, because she is a gal in this show, too. Um, and then, of course, a little bit of my, <laughs> my, uh, Dress Up Darling as well. Um, it does have the fan service -y as it, like, the other two did, but I feel like there's a point where it's not extremely fan service -y, but you know if this is only the first freaking episode we gotta wait until we get into next week to talk about it but they're cute together i mean seriously like i've seen so many um promotional arts coming out in like the last couple of weeks and ish and, and they're so freaking adorable together and i'm just like i can't i Fucking can't. And so I think this is going to be really cute and wholesome. Like, yeah, of course, it's going to have fans first. Ugh, I cannot speak. Fan servicey moments because of fucking course. But, yeah, it, it's cute. I'm just, you know. And I got to say this now because me, as the adult that I am, I am, like, super duper ready to see an adult Garu around my age Falling in love with a guy my around my fucking age. I mean, for me, for me to relate to them, I can't speak. I'm tired. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> but it was cute. Like, oh my god, I love the fact that you know, she like at first like everything that I was thinking about her like, oh my god, like completely changed in this episode because when you think of you know, gadus or really just girls who do like to sleep around with so many different guys and such of course duh they're gonna get bad vibes and everything they're always known for that and such but at the same time i love the fact that I'm like right when she was like oh okay i think he wants to have sex with me and he just was like hold the freak up like yes i want to but at the same time, I really want to make this moment between us, like, special. He really wants to treat her right. And that is so freaking cute. And I fucking love that. And it, it, it does give me feels of how, like, how much I love Marian and Gojo so much. And just their relationship. Because, you know, I am also reading Dress Up Darling. I have not caught up because I've been so busy. I think the last chapter or volume I read when it was doing, I think, fans, I was just like, volume... Volume A, Volume 9, I think. Because I have Volume 1 and 2, but I'm still, like, collecting. 
ish because I want to continue reading and such. But I mean, when you think about Money and Gojo and like their last lovable moment besides like the fireworks one, we got to think of like when they went to the fucking love hotel and they had a moment and we all thought they were going to do the deed and in the end they didn't. But still, like just seeing them in that moment and such, it's just like all this is so fucking adorable and it's just like yes i'm so happy for them because they're continuing something in the relationship at the same time i'm over here like where are these two gonna finally freaking date and stuff because yes like you think they're dating but no they're just too people hanging out until we really falling in love with each other and i can't and such it is too fucking much but i love the fact that this is completely different because normally and you know romance series it's always the girl who falls in love first and then but we're doing with the guy and the guy is the one who's confessing and everything just like girlfriend is a gal and shit um but i love how first <laughs> she just was so confused but i do feel bad for her um especially because of the reputation that she has and such and of course all guys are gonna look at her like oh well you know she's over here just sleeping around and shit they're like damn Get to know the girl, but I think, you know, and I'm just going to say this, not all guys do this. Some guys do this, not all. And, and it just depends. Like, it's once they get what they want, the cookie, they're gone. They really don't give two shits about you. And, and I know someone's going to get upset about that. But like I said, I said some, not all. Trust me. I've dealt with the some bad ones and I'm like... I, even now, I'm over here thinking, like, yeah, there's no fucking guy out here in the world for me. And I'm just like, mm hmm. I'm fine on my own. Mm hmm. Be the bad bitch on my own. <laughs> Which, regardless, whether I am in a relationship with a guy or I'm just still on my own, I'm still a bad bitch, regardless. So, mm hmm. But yeah, this was so fucking adorable. And honestly, I cannot wait to see how. Uh, I just peaked. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see how this is going to continue and how their relationship is definitely going to blossom in the next up and coming weeks. And, you know, just the dates that they're going to go on. I hope that every single episode, every single week is a date episode or just something where they're able to get to know each other better and such. And I think it's just going to be really cute. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of our dating story. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the match this one. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday. I was about to say Monday. <laughs> for episode two. Bye, guys.